Hello, welcome to today's science experiment where we're doing science at home using things we can find in our kitchen. Now you might notice I'm wearing white and I've got a white frame around me and that is because we're going to use something white in our experiment today. And also my frame looks a little bit like an animal because the thing that's white that we're going to use in our experiment today comes from an animal. So what do you think it is? Are you saying this? Are you saying this? Or are you saying this? That's right, we're going to use milk. So for today's experiment, you need milk, you need food colouring, and you need dishwashing liquid. So that's super easy to find, and a plate, and that's about all. You might want to put a little bit of an apron on or something over you every time we use food colouring because I find it ends up everywhere and my shirt won't be white anymore. Okay, before I show you the experiment, you need to know a couple of things. One, you need to know that milk is made up of water and fat, as well as vitamins and minerals. And it's important that we know that there's both water and fat in the milk, because this is why our experiment works. Now, we need to also know that soap is molecules, soap molecules are made up of one end that loves water and one end that's afraid of water or one that goes towards, one that goes away. So the end of the soap molecules that love the water, we call that, are you ready? Hydrophilic, such a big word. The end of the soap molecules that are afraid of the water are called hydrophobic. Now you might have heard that part before, phobic. Phobic means when like you're afraid of something, you just can't cope. So you might be afraid of spiders and then you would have something called arachnophobia. So the phobia part is the scared part. If you're afraid of being outside in big open spaces, they call that agrophobia. You hear that phobia at the end. So we need to know this about our soap molecules. One end likes water, one end doesn't like water. So the soap modules, the boss at the top, and he's saying, yes, you can come with me, water. But the other end of him is saying, no, go away from me, water. We need to know this because the dishwashing liquid in the experiment is our soap. Watch the food dye dancing across the surface of the milk. Water can dissolve certain things, but it can't dissolve oil or fat. When the dishwashing liquid is added, it separates the water from the fat. It's kind of like the soap is chasing the fat in the milk. The milk gets repelled by the soap, so that means it runs away from the soap. I'm going to show you this again so that you can watch really carefully what happens at each stage of the experiment.
Remember, milk is made out of fat and water, so when the soap is added, it helps separate the fat and the water. The hydrophobic end of the soap molecules breaks up the fat in the milk. The hydrophilic end of the soap molecules links up with the water that it loves. Now that the soap is linking up the fat and the water, the fat molecules can be moved around with the water molecules. As the soap molecules connect to the fat molecules, the coloured food dye gets pushed around everywhere. When we add more soap, we see if there's any fat molecules floating around in the milk that haven't attached yet. The reason that we use whole milk instead of skim milk is because whole milk's got more fat molecules in it. Now I tr wanted to try and make a print of the liquid that was in my plate. So I did add a whole bunch of crazy stuff at the end, extra dye and extra dishwashing liquid. And what I did is I got a piece of paper, which you're about to see, and I lay it flat on the surface of the water. Now when it dries, it will make a beautiful card, but after a while it's going to smell off because the milk will go off. It was very runny but I think that it's so beautiful watching it go down the surface of the paper. How much fun was that? Science is amazing. I'll see you next time.